Walk canceling is a third form of animation cancel in Genshin Impact after dash canceling and jump canceling. I've talked about both dash and jump canceling to some degree in previous Genshin videos I've made, but I've only made a passing mention to walk canceling, so I want to explain it in a little more detail here. Basically, walk canceling is an exclusive form of animation cancel that only projectile casters can use. Casters are ranged characters in this game who have elemental autos by default, and projectile casters are a special type of casters whose auto attacks are projectile based, hence their name. There are only two projectile casters in the game at the time of this video recording. Klee, who throws bombs, and Ningguang, who shoots gems like her name is Tosaka Rin. Wall cancelling is done by holding forward and attacking. This is done differently between Klee and Ningguang. For Klee, you need to attack with a specific timing because she has a 3 hit auto combo. If you attack too fast, Klee will pull out the second bomb of her auto attack when she's only supposed to use the first bomb. Klee doesn't seem to benefit too much from this. She does attack slightly faster than if she were to do a normal auto combo, but whatever DPS increase she gets from walk cancelling probably isn't worth it because her walk cancel timing is easy to mess up, and it's not worth doing in the middle of a fight, especially in domains or in abyss. Ning Wong, on the other hand, benefits greatly from walk cancelling because unlike Klee, she has no auto combo, just a single auto attack with some different animations. This means that walk cancelling Ning Wong's auto attack is is much simpler. You just hold forward and spam attack. Compare her attacks with and without walk cancelling. So, if you're a Ningguang main or plan to become one now that you have C6 Ningguang after Child's Banner, there should be no reason not to walk cancel all your auto attacks because it's easy to do, and it significantly increases your Ningguang's DPS with auto attacks. Of course, just like jump canceling, you shouldn't do it all the time since you still need to dodge enemy attacks, but you should be able to find moments in a fight where you can walk cancel Ningguang's autos and get some free damage in and build up her jades quickly. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.